Sometimes what you want to do just doesn't work out and that's the case for me today I really wanted to have some sort of an abandoned video for you guys just to enjoy I was really excited because we actually got up today me and a friend got up super early to go out to South Wales to go to certain places to record hopefully something for an abandoned video I took the camera that I'm using right now plus obviously the microphone and the tripod that it's on plus this camera which is a Lumix and then I also took my GoPro as well. So this was going to be like for pictures, this was going to be for like point of view shots and the camera I'm using now was going to be for video. And I had everything sort of set out and in my mind the first place we were going to go was Denby. That's um, like some sort of Denby uh, lunatic asylum. But then before we went there I actually found out like a day or two ago that it's like no longer possible to get in there. There's security there, there's like gates around the edges, there's security dogs. And so I figured that's too dangerous to go there for now and I don't really want to go somewhere where I have to physically break in. I'd rather go somewhere where I could just walk in, which is probably harder to find in, like, than it's to be said, I guess. It's harder to find places like that because a lot of those places will be like, you know, you have to break in to get in. But I didn't want to do that, I just wanted to find somewhere where I could just walk in. I thought Denby was going to be like that until like a month ago, they boarded it all up, I didn't realise until a few days ago. So we didn't go to Denby in the end, instead I found a place in South Wales in a village called Merthyr Vale, which is near a river called the River Taff. Now basically this River Taff runs parallel with these two streets, which sort of go in like a weird like S shape. But these two streets have actually just recently been abandoned within the past like six to six months to a year. So it's a newly abandoned place and I really wanted to go there because I didn't really know too much about it. I had seen a few like posts and stuff about it online. I figured what well, if it's quite new, surely you can go there. And I actually saw a video from a guy who went there only a few days ago and he looked in all the houses or at least all the houses he could do because it's literally two streets of like houses both sides. So you could go and look in most of the houses and you could just look at what whatever's there basically. I was excited to go there myself and just explore the place and figure well this will make a good first video. There'd be some cool pictures we can take with the street in the background and us just stood there and whatnot. And we get there and then I'll put a picture up on screen like there somewhere. But basically we get there and there's like a fence in the like entrance of the street. And it's the only way you can get into the street. That's the only entrance in there, and the fences were there, there was no way we were getting in, so that really put an end to that straight away. Two and a half hours of driving, and we were stopped by that. So then I was like, all right, shit. I had like a plan B, or this was my plan B basically, because my plan A was to go Denby, that failed. This is my plan B, I had a plan C. So we decided to go to Cardiff, which was only about 18 to 20 minute drive down the road. We go to Cardiff, there is an asylum there, or like a hospital or something like that. I didn't read in too much about this one because I really thought that the first two wouldn't have let me down like this. But we went to this place in Cardiff and it's uh, Cardiff Old Hospital or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of it off the top of my head. It's in the outskirts of Cardiff itself and we go there and yet again we go there, we pull up outside and this time it's been perim the entire perimeter is surrounded by this metal fence. It's not even the fence panels that you could like potentially find somewhere where somebody's kicked a bit in, but it's the proper metal gates where there's not really any way of someone being able to kick those in unless they're really trying to force entry. We had a quick look around the perimeter. When we looked, there was no way to get in. There were also signs all the way along that said no entry, private property, etc. And I figured, well, there's one thing to explore in an abandoned place. There's another thing when it says time and time again that it's a private property. That means keep out because it's illegal to get in. So we thought, screw it. We're not going to do that one because that's breaking the law and I don't want to do that. We had another place that we wanted to go to. This time this place is in Newport. So it was a little bit down the road from Cardiff. It probably took us like another 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get there. But we go to Newport. And this place is the Main D Pool, which is in the area of Main D in Newport. So I figured, all right, this looks all right. I've seen some pictures. This looks pretty cool. And I, you know, I would like to go to an abandoned swimming pool area or just like that type of thing, like theme parks and swimming pools and that type of thing really seem interesting to me. I saw this, this would be really interesting to go to. We drove over there and the same situation. Again, picture up on the screen right here. We get to the main deep pool boarded up on all the windows, there's a gate at the front, that gate is locked, the gate is actually behind the car that's in the picture, but you get the idea, 
there wasn't any way that we were going to get in. Again, forced entry, we weren't going to do that. One last thing that we tried, I didn't get a picture of it because there was no point because there was nothing to take a picture of. There was, well, there was an abandoned Sainsbury's in Newport again. There's only five or six minutes around the corner from this main deep pool. But we go over to the area where the abandoned Sainsbury's is meant to be. Surprise, surprise, the Sainsbury's has been absolutely demolished and it's literally just flat ground. Nothing to even see. And we figured at that point to call it a day in terms of trying to find somewhere abandoned to explore. So we basically drove all the way to Wales, in the south of Wales, just for nothing. We had a little look around, we did make a little bit of the day, but there was nothing like spectacular and I really wanted to do like an abandoned video of some sort. But unfortunately it just didn't work out like that and unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm back here after like 300 miles worth of driving with no video recorded. I have, however, a package, it's nothing exciting, I know what it is. It's something for when I do find places to actually explore. Try and make sure I don't show my address. It's a mask. And basically because, uh, you know, when you explore buildings, you're exploring all sorts of different places. You could explore buildings that were built hundreds of years ago and hundreds of years ago or at least within the last hundred years asbestos is a really popular material to use or was really popular to use back in like the early 1900s and it was popular for a, a multitude of reasons it was very good with the weather it was waterproof it was a very good insulator it was very cheap it was viable there was all these reasons why people wanted to use asbestos as a material however the issue is that at the time they had no idea that asbestos was a really powerful and dangerous like substance especially when you breathe it in it had a very high chance of causing cancer if you breathed it in enough times and it also had something called asbestosis which is like a something that it causes within you which basically means that you would die not long after like getting this thing when you breathe it in it takes 10 to 80 years for this thing to affect so you could breathe it in and not know for another 10 to 80 years after breathing it in that you've got something wrong with you and all of a sudden something like that will hit you it does or can cause more than just cancer and asbestosis it can also cause something called popcorn lung which you might have heard about which basically just means that it's harder to breathe and it basically mess with your lungs from what I've heard a popcorn lung basically is like if you see like a teenager with like really bad spots on his face it's the same thing but on your lung asbestosis is similar but it causes scarring on the lungs and therefore it causes many issues with that a lot of you are going to know what cancer is anyway regardless asbestos is a really bad substance and you really don't want to breathe it in and so this is why I got hopefully something that is resistant against asbestos Apparently this is, I might get something else that might be a little bit more high grade just in case in the future But I figured I'd get this for now Because, I don't know, it looks cool and it apparently protect, protects against asbestos and dust and uh, black mould and other things That you might potentially come across within abandoned places Looks a bit small though Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me right now so I won't have it on for long But that's basically what it is <coughs> And basically You breathe in air that isn't going to be contaminated by whatever it is so basically if there's asbestos it's meant to stop the asbestos and you only breathe in the air same as black mold same as anything else that you don't really want to breathe in i will be getting some uh more simpler masks as well just in case there's an area that i believe don't have asbestos but it might just have dust or something like that you can have uh, respirators or dust masks that at least you just stop the dust from getting in um yeah, basically these are things I want to get for myself because if I'm going to these sort of areas a lot, hopefully if I'm actually able to get in those areas first of all, but if I'm going to those areas a lot, I need to make sure I'm protected because like any one of those diseases that asbestos or the dust or black mold can give you really isn't a nice thing to have. Apologies that I couldn't get anything today. I know, like I said, I went all the way to South Wales, which for me is 150 miles there and 150 miles back roughly give or take especially driving around and stuff so I did easily 300 miles today trying to get something and I didn't get it so that was a loss in my books and it was you know a bit of a lost day in that terms but it was still fun nonetheless and I still had a fun road trip I do like driving anyway um, but I'm going to try and do more research into places and make sure that I can actually get into those so I can actually get more consistent videos done for these type of places and I don't know maybe I'll try and research maybe places closer by to where I live to make sure that if 
like if I can't get in there, the day isn't wasted as badly as what it was today. I just figured I'd try and make a big like start, I guess, and like start off my videos by, oh, here I am in uh, South Wales at this really cool street that's been abandoned all this asylum because these places just looked really cool. And overall Wales, whether it's south or north, looked really cool in terms of like the amount of abandoned places they had from the research that I did anyway. England didn't really seem to have that many cool abandoned places that I saw. And then everywhere that I did find, again, it's been boarded up or it's got security, so you've got to be careful if you even want to chance it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do more research into that just to make sure like I can get into certain places. So far, I've only had one successful exploration out of two. And that was years ago when I went to uh, an asylum in Northampton. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. I really just wanted to update you guys to let you know that I tried to do something today in terms of like a vlog and like an abandoned building and it just didn't work out well. And if I did vlog the day without doing the abandoned stuff, it really wouldn't have been that much of an exciting day. Literally all we did when we were there in Wales, apart from like searching for abandoned places, was a little bit of shopping and eating at Subway. So. It wasn't exciting, especially to put on video. But anyway, I hope to catch you guys soon enough for another video, and hopefully next video I have, it will actually be a proper exploration vlog video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have watched this far, then I appreciate you so much. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. As always, I'll catch you guys next time.